Oh God, so Pete, I remember this one time me and my homie was waiting for the train on 63rd in Ashland. It was over frigid outside. I'm talking about that type of cold you felt in your bones, you hear me? My homie. When the next time you gonna talk to fool with the moves, man, I'm trying to get one of them up with my class. That bitch smack. Ah, I been hitting bro up, but his phone been dead for like two days. He probably got bumped. He. Damn, cause it's cold as hell. A motherfucker need that. Ah, I been trying to hit that nigga up. I was trying to get a Gucci polo for this interview I got coming up. Boy, I need that. I'm fucked up out here for real, G. He. Bro, the Hulk is out. I'm finna text my BM and see where she at with the car. Ah. I'm telling you, that motherfucker flying low, you hear me? We waiting to see what bro BM say. She texts back, he. All right, we going, bro. We can slide to my BM crib and get the car. Glory, glory. The train finally come. We hop on. Luckily, bro, BM was only a couple stops away. We get the heat. Motherfuckers got some G? I. Right. Hell no, nah, bro. My pocket's on. Any meeny mighty mo, fuck them out. He, it got to be a better way. Ah, it's hot out here for a pimp. A hey, whole town, you'll run me by the crib so I can get my clothes. I need to shoot to the laundry man real quick. He, boy, old V ain't nobody finna be sitting in that bitch all day, boy. Ah, bro, please, it's Black History Month. You all like that, brother? He, I man, blue, but coming through, I blast. We finally pull up to my crib. Luckily, wasn't nobody home. I was staying with my auntie and like three of my cousins. Ah, bro, I just gotta run to my room right quick, get my shit, and we gone, bro. He, don't be all fucking day, bro. I know I ain't have much time, so I quickly stole away to my semi-private quarters <clears throat> in the living room. After I collected my dirty laundry, my bitch called me. So yo little MTV Cribs episode will be weak as hell, huh? Ah, hey, be cool, Scud. He. Bro, make your motherfucking bed up. You ain't got no home training. Oh, Playboy had all the jokes. Ah, you my kind, sir, or a bitch. Tuh. They love to kick a man when he down. I don't want to worry about it, though. We finally got to the laundry, man. Lord knows I needed to wash. I get to the change machine, attempting to convert my last little tools and fuels into silver coins. The machine denied my dollars. I'm talking about being a straight bug. I couldn't afford not to wash my clothes. I had already re-rocked the drawers I had on. I go to my homie, yeah. You got some quarters, bro? He, OV boy, use your money. Ah, man, the machine tweaking, bro. It ain't gonna let me get no quarters, he. Then go use another currency changer, bro. I, I don't think God want me to use these dollars, G. He know I got to eat later. Bro, looked out for me. Dug in his pocket and pulled me out some change. It wasn't much, but it was better than nothing. Thank God it was a wash here, dry, free location or I would have been shot. I found me a machine that was suitable to my budget. I stuffed my clothes in there. Too geek to finally have some clean trousers. God always make a way out of none, you hear me? And I had just enough to finance my top load. <coughs> Forgot the detergent. If it weren't one thing, it was always another. I go to my homie. Let me get some bread for detergent, bro. He just looked at my dumb ass. I guess I had exhausted his helping hand. I, <laughs> motherfuckers never loved us. I had to figure out something. I turn around, what do I behold? A big body Bugatti. I'm talking about Buku booty bucko. And Ha Ha Davis voice. Bro, wasn't no machine in there big enough to handle that little shorty had. Made me forget about all my woes. I walk up to shorty I. How you doing, beautiful? She, I'm good, how are you? I, how much for a cup of your concentrated detergent, cutie? She, nah, you ain't gotta pay for it, I got you. Touched. I, 
You might just be the sweetest thing I ever know. She, come on, boy. And the rest was history. We instantly clicked. She showed herself to be a real one in the dough. Next thing you know, I ain't have to worry about waking up with a cramp in my neck from sleeping on my people numb couch. I packed up my bag of clothes and my Xbox and moved in with Shorty. I'm talking about in there, come for table. Whatever I needed, she made sure I had it. Kept a nigga well fed and tended to, you hear me? Looking out, even when she came up, Shorty had got a little settlement. Went and bought a Range Rover, it was nasty, you hear me? Gave me full access to navigating that phone. I'm talking about life was good, bro. No complaints whatsoever. Now, one day I hit the boat, craps table, 600 across, shooter hit a seven. Sent me home. Dun, 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 My homie, like, he giveth and he taketh, bro. I hurt the body, hurt the soul. Yeah, my homie, like, you already know shorty gonna replenish you anyway. You gonna be decent. I, I guess, man, her ass irritating. Right after that, my phone rang. I pick up. I, hello? She, hey, baby, what you doing? I, finna bust a few moves. What's good? She, I was wondering if you could bring me something to eat. I, come on, man. I ain't even close to the house. She, but, babe, I would get it myself, but you got the car. I, <sighs> alright, man. W- what you want? She, mmm. I don't know. I why you don't never know what you want to eat, bro? She. Okay, okay. Uh, a jerk Philly. Ah, I man. Whole time I ain't even got no money for real. The boat just did me dirty. She. Okay. Well, I'll just send you three fifty, so you'll be good. Ah. Blessings. I man, I'll be there in a little minute. She. I love you too. Error. Ah. We gotta slap the Jerk 48, bro. He, she is, say less. We pull up to Jerk 48. Luckily, it wasn't that many people in line, cause usually it's busting in there. I asked my homie, you getting some up out of here, bro, guy? He, hell no, boy, I'm fucked up. Ah, boy, you know I got your back like Cairo Pratt. Fuck him out, get some. He, oh, we lit then. Let me get a jerk load of potato. Fuck, ah, say less. Hey, baby girl. She laughed. How can I help you today? Ah, shit. Let me get a jerk loaded potato and a Jamaican meat meal. She ringing up the order and she think about it. A Jamaican meat meal. Ah, a jerk Philly. Fuck to bill. She. <laughs> okay, that'll be thirty four forty one. Ah, say less. I pull out the bread. Ah, got the forty ball. Don't get excited, little baby being a bug i pay for my food or whatever right after that this little decent little situation bop in with some decent little cloppers on them i damn baby it don't matter what you order i know i'm paying for it though she okay well who am i to stop you i what's the bill miss lady the cashier 3416 i 3416 Damn, you trying to feed your kids too, huh? She. Nah, that jerk salmon, that jerk lobster, all for me. Ah. Oh, you be eating good, huh? I could tell. What's your name? She. V V. I. Oh, okay. You look like you mixed with something. What's that? She. I'm black and toxic. Ah. Ooh, black and toxic, huh? Come here. Shit turn me on. I ain't gonna lie to you. I pulled Shorty to the side, put a little bug in her ear. Eventually, all the food was ready. I'm talking about laid out. I look at Shorty. Damn, your food look good as hell. Can I have some? She, hell no. Funny as hell. We grabbed the food. Everybody bell out. Shorty pimping off. I, hey, little baby. She turn around. Yes, sir. I, can I put you on my little Rover range later? She, oh, oh, that's, that's you over there? I, oh, you know exactly what the fuck going on. 
Take my line. 773-229-67. Now she input my whole little numerical identifier. I hit my line. She, I, if only you knew. I finally get to the crib. I'm anticipating seeing Shorty again. I give my girl her food. She, thanks, babe. We still on for Netflix and chill tonight? Ah, damn, I ain't even gonna hold you. I definitely forgot. She, just like you forgot last week? Ah, I be having shit on my mind. What you tripping for? She, I mean, all I'm trying to do is spend time with you. You act like that's such a problem. Ah, damn, Gina, I'm going through something right now. Random fire escape. Got a barra. I get ready to leave back out. Uh, I'm gone. She. Bae, where's you going? I. Uh, I told you I had to bust move. She. I guess. I. Uh, I love you. And left out. She. I love you too. She fake knew exactly what was going on. Now I'm out there. I done took Shorty to this love event at the Lacona Lofts. I'm not even knowing. My girl done hired some private investigators for this new show called Bogus as Hell. Now I'm out here thinking I'm T.I. in that ATL movie. Skating. She watching live footage of everything going on from a remote location. The host talking about, I'm so sorry you had to witness this. Are you ready to go catch this low down, dirty, filthy mo- Are you ready to go do this? My girl get the crying like, oh no. Dude get the trying to comfort her. Wild as hell. He, it's gonna be okay. Let's go get him. Preparing to sabotage my whole little operation. And I'm just oblivious to the whole plot twist. I'm thinking I'm finna scuba dive, you hear me? It's a whole camera crew. Just posted on standby, receiving all the information regarding my logistics. They must have got word that I got back to the car. They instantly come marching. I'm in the car chopping it up with Shorty. They crash the party, pimp up to the window, get the knocking. Now you know I got the I-8 ass face, the host. Excuse me, my black brother. I'm the new host of the new show, Bogus as Hell. And we here to let you know that you bogus as hell. Bro, I could not. He, excuse me, ma'am. Did you know that this is not even his vehicle? She, is you serious? Bro, my whole world was just crashing all around me. My girl, how could you do me like this? I did everything for you. I ain't had no answer, bro. The host like, you bogus. How could you cheat on this beautiful, black, thick, sexy, juicy victim of a woman? I couldn't even handle facing my wrongs, bro. Tried to get down on them. Got beat up by the camera crew on live TV. (laughs) Moral of the story, when you blessed with a good woman... Don't mess it up. On God. Last. This is a moment of reflection. God, please be in order of protection for me and myself. I'm not trying to lose that nigga in the midst of all this glitter and gold or salt and pepper. Too many false impressions. They love you till they don't need you and then it's called rejected or never saw that message. I swear it's all a setup. Niggas is bitches, bitches is niggas. A lot of dress up. Don't really talk much. Was never type shy.